Yeah, that was lift. into this wind for a little bit, gain some height, and then we'll, uh, I guess we could head towards Plainfield and then really come back fast. We've got the Sinnohs connected, and you can hear them crackling back there. We're heading towards Plainfield. I don't know if David can hear me. Can you hear me, David? Pretty lousy, aren't they? I'm just turning, getting behind you, turning around to see if you can hear me. Yeah, otherwise they suck. Okay, trying a new setup today uh, on my helmet cam, so hopefully uh, it'll work out okay and uh, you'll be able to hear the difference or see the difference or something. Uh, so anyway, we'll... Uh, fly with it uh, like it is right now and then uh, see what happens here, what kind of uh, view you get on it. Trying something a little bit different. Doing 21 miles an hour, 23, just kind of uh, bouncing around here about 600 feet. Been flying for about four minutes. Getting a lot of lift. Going into a steady breeze of about six miles an hour with supposedly gusts to 10. But it seems more like a steady breeze of 10. About 19 miles an hour. Getting rocked around a little bit. You probably can see that in the video. It's about uh, 640. So it's, uh, it's not early. That's a steady flight at 20 miles an hour. It's starting to calm down just a little bit. Notice that uh, Fly Sky High added a new uh, uh, added new information. Basically, gives you your max miles per hour during your flight, so you can go back and see what the fastest speed you were doing at some point throughout the flight, which is kind of interesting. I don't know that it serves a purpose for many people, but I know that uh, sometimes I wonder about, uh, I'll get into some wind or or just get moving pretty quick and uh, it'll record how fast it was that you went when you're not looking at uh, fly sky high. Real nice field down below us. About 450 feet. We turned around and uh, doing about 30 miles an hour now. Kind of heading on the side of the wind. About 300 feet. Still rocking pretty good. Sort of doing a crab to the left. About 450 feet, climbing up. 2.4 miles away from the runway. Still climbing to about 600 feet. Been flying for about 13 minutes. We're gonna go over here and follow the river. Still about 24 miles an hour. Flying over Plainfield, Ohio. All right, we're going to kind of turn with the wind and head towards the runway. 
doing about 37, 39. for about 17 minutes. About 850 feet. About two miles of the runway. Beautiful evening. It's starting to calm down. And uh, we're doing about uh, 42 miles an hour at uh, a little over 900 feet. We're turning back into the wind. In about 23. Trims are probably set to about uh, 6. So normally I fly at 3, but I took off at 6 because of the, the winds were kind of steady and uh, wanted to get my wing up quick, get it moving into the uh, wind. And even with 6 set, I was up quick. So yeah, 14 miles an hour, 15, heading into the wind. And David straight ahead, right between my feet, pulling a uh, a cam, a tail cam, or whatever you call it, cam. Uh, anyway, yeah, chase cam. Got him a chase cam behind him. I'm not sure what kind of pictures he's getting. But, uh, It looks like it's just really smooth back there. Yeah, it's smoothed out uh, a lot, or at least going with the wind, it's smoothed out. We're kind of to the side of it. Yeah, you might be able to see the chase cam on where I'm at now. Kind of looks like a little miniature wind sock. We're just circling the runway. And the thought was to go ahead and land, refuel, and then uh, head on out again and uh, make it a longer evening flight. So maybe we'll see the uh, sunset. We'll leave them at six. It might be a little faster landing because we'll be landing with the wind. Kind of hard to see into the sun. There, that helps. Yeah, about 32 miles an hour landing here. Wanted to miss that hole there. Okay.